Hi, my name is Kitsa Berenger, and I'm an educator here at the BYU Museum of Art. And today I've chosen to talk about um, this Anthem Kiefer work. It is an untitled work. Born in 1945, post-World War II Germany, um, Kiefer is actually among a generation of children who um, grow up playing in the ruins and the rubble of neighborhood homes and buildings, um, not having experienced World War II firsthand. He grows up having to deal with and try to make sense of the silent guilt um, and cultural scars um, that, that Germany was, was living with. Um, and as he becomes an artist um, later in his life, he decides that he can't avoid that part of the nation's history. And instead, he protests forgetting. He demands that Germans um, look at their nation's history, both um, you know, the atrocities and the ugliness of, the world, uh, of World War II, um, but then also process that, that guilt and make sense of it so that they understand themselves where they currently are. Um, and I can't help but walk into the gallery and see this work and see a bit of human nature um, reflected. Um, and I, I have to stop and I have to look at it and, and sort of process maybe something about myself as I, as I look at this work. Um, as I kind of walk past this work, I tend to stop at this last panel here. I feel completely drawn in by it. So I want to take a closer look at this panel. The layers of creation are immediate and intimate. Um, you can see where Anselm Kiefer has started, um, the, you know, the creation process and how he has built up this panel layer upon layer. But then there's also this brutal and violent sort of destruction um, among the layers as well. Um, you can actually see where he's taken probably the back of a tool and, and scraped away portions of those layers, leaving um, gouges and, and eventually these scars on the panel itself. Um, how he has taken a, a torch and scorched, you know, this darkened part and left what looks like the bark of a tree, but also speaks to those bridges we burn in our own lives and, and um, perhaps those ugly scars of our own emotional outbursts, uh, our flaws and our failures, our unintentional cruelty even. Um, but then he comes back to the work again and with bright, unblended colors leaves these colorful patches that are almost sculptural in nature on top of the destruction. And you can see this entire process and it becomes an example of human nature. This idea that we create our lives layer upon layer, day after day, our interactions with one another, again, those burning bridges, and then the beauty that we try to, to add in recovering relationships and, and rebuilding ourselves, um, redefining ourselves, and that this process is cyclical. Um, from one panel to the next, you see the same sort of um, process again and again. Um, and eventually, after you've looked closely, when you, when you back up and you look at the entire work together, it resolves itself. All of these violent moments and this beauty um, comes together to form a complete image. And for me, it resolves into a forest, beautiful with color, um, but also speaking of the, you know, the death that autumn brings, um, but also promising the renewal of a spring. Um, and I see the trees in the immediate um, foreground and a, kind of in the middle ground, a waterway, perhaps a river or a lake, but a body of water that reflects sunlight. And not just any sunlight, but that hopeful sunlight of a morning. Having that peek through the forest at this time of year just allows me to recognize that all of these layers, the process of creation and destruction, um, 
come in waves and are cyclical in nature. And that if we face those moments of death, we will also see those moments of rebirth that allows us to, to not shy away from our own imperfections, but allows us to embrace them and to build upon them. I would be really interested to know um, if you see what I see in this work um, and if you can reconcile all of those parts. Um, I challenge you to come into the museum and see it in person because nothing beats seeing this Anselm Kiefer in person. I hope that you make the time to do that. Um, thanks for joining us.